hey, we have some mice in our garage, and I was having some trouble with one of my mouse traps, so I had to change brands. And I'll show you the differences, and I'll show you what I changed to, and I will explain the differences and the mechanisms in the traps, and hopefully you can save some time and money by following my advice. I'm going to review the Victor and the Tomcat. So we have the kill bar, we have the spring, we have the wooden block, we have the arm bar, and then we have the trigger. This one looks almost a little toyish, childish, it's a little fake cheese and you have to put some peanut butter or something on there, or some cheese I guess. And then this one, same thing, but it has a little bit, um, makes it a little more difficult to get to, so maybe the mouse or the rat has to fiddle with it a little more to get at it versus this one where it's just on top. And let me show you the difference as far as triggering and the difference in the mechanisms. I'm going to use pretzel sticks for the purpose of demonstration and to explain how these guys trigger. I always hold it all the way back and then set the mechanism. As you can see here, it goes at a pretty high angle, but the problem is, and I'm still going to gently hold it so it doesn't spring all the way off, the problem is, is it could be tapped around a lot and not trigger. There's a lot more wiggle room in this and as you try to get closer and closer to the point of the trigger it actually pulls the cheese back up. So it makes it safer for a mouse to come. You can see all the play and it does not trigger it which potentially could be the mouse eating your snacks and you're just feeding it now you have a pet rat instead of a dead rat. Okay now you can see here the trap and I'll come from the top here, and if the mouse is eating your cheese, he could be on there eating the cheese, fooling all around with it, and be out of there until there's too much pressure. And so you can see that, it's not going. Well, there you go. But I don't like all the play in there because several times I just had a mouse, a rat thief, just taking all the, all the snacks. Now let me show you the Victor. The Victor, Similar design, of course, just a little bit different mechanism. The Victor's going to go back, just like the other one. But the difference is it's just slightly on there. Let me see if I can show you. Let's see if this will zoom right for you. There we go. You can see the mechanism is just slight. You can't get in there too deep so it's not going to trigger. It's just barely under there. As long as it's set right, it's ready to go. So now if a mouse comes over, as soon as, soon as it touches it, you got yourself a dead mouse or rat or whatever you're trying to handle there. I just think it has a better hairline trigger. And I gently let go and let's see if we can see it again here. Another mouse friend coming over for a snack. And that's all. That's all she wrote. So as I said, the Victor is the Victor. I think it's just a more efficient trap and you won't be disappointed and definitely you'll get your money's worth out of the Victor. Thanks for watching the review. I'm happy to do any other reviews for any other products you have any interest in and demonstrations, as long as it's not too dangerous. <laughs> Feel free to comment or like or subscribe. We have a lot going on, on this channel, not just mouse traps, but mouse traps are pretty fun. Also, a friendly reminder, mouse traps are definitely not a toy. You can do some serious damage to yourself or others if you're not careful with them. They are definitely not a toy. Keep them away from children at all costs. Well, not at all costs. I mean, just keep your kids safe. Careful for mouse traps. They can really pinch you.